My vitamin D testing kit arrived in the post yesterday. I ordered it from Better You Limited. Um, I think they're affiliated with the health service, so they're legit. And I used them last year. It costs about thirty pounds. Is it? Oh no, thirty pounds. Yeah, and that's um, I think pretty standard. You won't get it much cheaper than that. So last year it turned out my vitamin D was pretty high. It was quite a lot higher than average, which was good news, I think. I had just been away to Lanzarote and got some winter sun for two weeks. This was in January. So this year will be interesting because I haven't been away. Although I have been out in the sun. It's an interesting question as to whether you can synthesize any vitamin D from the sun in the UK at high latitude, obviously, at this time of year. So if you, if you can't, it might be that my vitamin D is a lot lower this year. Unless somehow my diet and my genetics storage of vitamin D from the summer means that it's kept reasonably high. So it says vitamin D test pack contains one blood spot collection card that's this, one alco wipe, one single use lancet, prepaid envelope, plaster, oh and a spare single use lancet. I'm going to do this finger on my left hand, massage the finger to be bled from the palm towards the tip and clean with alcohol wipe and then dry. So massage it from the palm towards the tip. Clean with the alcohol wipe. And then dry. I guess I'm just going to let it dry for a second. Twist and remove the protective cap from the single use lancet. Press the white tip firmly against the side of the cleaned fingertip to pierce the skin. See picture B. Okay, so you just got to do it. Here we go. Ouch. Wipe away the first show of blood. So it's blood starting to come out, so wipe it away. Gently squeeze the finger and allow up to four. This is annoying. This, this is annoying. This rubber band, right? Blood spot collection device. Gently squeeze the finger and allow up to four large drops of blood, at least as big as the size guide, to fall onto the card. So I guess it goes on this strip here. The blood drop can be placed on the card by gentle touch, but avoid pressing the fingertip against the card. Okay. That's one. It says up to four. I don't want to be losing lots of blood. It's a bit grim, really. It's two. It's supposed to be above each arrow and not to large and not too small. Then three, you've got this kind of size guide here. About right, too small, too big and overlapped drops. Don't apply more than one drop of, drop of blood in the same place. If a spot is poor, move on to the next position. This is such a weird thing. Right, number four. So the finger's got a decent amount of blood on it. There's my four drops. I think I've done a pretty good job there. Cover the finger with plaster. I think I'm going to wipe it with the wipe first. I should really have filled in my personal details first on the card where I put the blood because I'll have to do that now and make sure I don't contaminate it. 
that on fairly tight, maybe it'll stop the bleeding. So close and seal collection card and send to lab or give to your health professional. Fold over and seal by pull, pulling off glue strip. How are my vitamin D levels determined? The vitamin D level in your blood is determined using a mass spectrometer which can look at substances in blood at very low levels. The lab is fully UK accredited and the quality of the vitamin D tests is monitored by external quality assurance. Different methods for assessing vitamin D are not always comparable. Your results are sent to the address supplied within five working days of receiving your sample. So I've got to fill in the vitamin D test consent form and send that back with the blood spot collection device. That's the card I put the blood on. So I'll do that now. So consent form and vitamin D test are going into the prepaid envelope and I'll be sending them off.